Hey guys, this is Ryan from Funkadelic Astronaut, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how you can use templates in Ableton to jumpstart your creative workflow. So in Ableton Live, a template is a live set that you can use to jumpstart your creative process. So there are two different types of templates in Ableton Live. There's something called the default live set, and then there's like a more freeform template setup. So I'll, I'll jump into the two of them so you can see what the differences are. Um, the default set is the set that opens when you start Ableton Live. So this is my default set. Um, I do a lot of um, composition in Ableton for a four-piece band, stuff that doesn't necessarily get fully produced, but stuff that will be played with my band, Funkadelic Astronaut. Um, so my default live set, it contains a drum rack that I can quickly spin up drum ideas. It's got some bass samples. It's got a Rhodes and an organ, and it's got inputs for guitars. So this helps me jumpstart my workflow in the sense that I can open up Ableton Live and I can just start composing. I don't have to find a drum rack. I don't have to find bass sounds. I don't have to find like electric piano sounds. Everything is right in front of me. So this saves a, a lot of time. I mean, it could take up to 20 minutes to set this up. And by the time you're setting something up like that, you've lost the creative edge. So it's really easy to create a default set in Ableton Live. All you have to do is construct yourself a live set that you'd like to see every single time you open the program. And then you bring up the preferences uh, command. Is it command comma? We'll do that in Mac. And I think it's Windows comma in Windows. Um, also, you could always go up here, but who has time for clicking around up here? Hotkeys will save your life. Um, so what you'll want to do after you've created your default live set is you'll come over here to the file tab and there's this little thing here, save current set as default. You click save and it'll say overwrite the default set. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to overwrite my changes. But for you, if you're good to go, you click OK, boom, um, and we'll show this in, in in action, so say I did a bunch of work, I created all these clips, we have an amazing song. Well, well, whatever. I've changed my, my live set. So when I open Ableton Live for the first time, I don't wanna see these changes. See, it's, it's loading the template set, and here we are. So the other type of template that you can create in Ableton is one that you store and retrieve from your user library. So if you look over here in my user library, I have this folder called templates and I have a couple of templates in here. So in order to add templates like this, what you want to do is go ahead and create yourself a, a set that you want to use as a template. For this example, we'll just say that we want a, uh, a drum rack template. It's just got one drum track in it. So after you've created your template set, you'll go and save, and you're going to want to save it in your user library folder in a folder called templates. I'm not sure if it needs to be a folder called templates, but from an organizational point of view, I think that makes the most sense. So if you don't have a folder called templates, go ahead and create one, and then go in there and you can save your template, and we'll call this one drum rack. We'll save, and you'll see when it's done that it'll pop up over here for you to use later. So the way you would use this is you open Ableton Live. And so let's let's simulate that by creating a new set. So here your default set's gonna load, and then you decide like, oh, okay, I need to do just, just some drum work. So let's use this drum rack template. You double click it. It's gonna it's gonna load this setup. And then you can go ahead and you can uh, you can start creating some clips or do whatever it would do whatever you got to do in your live set and then when you're done you can go ahead and save and here is the power um, when you go to save a set that you started from one of these templates over here it doesn't overwrite the template it lets you save the new set so this way you're not overwriting your template and you can always come back and use this template and save yourself some time in the future so just to recap, Ableton has two template features. The one is the default live set, which opens every single time you open Ableton. And then the second is the ability to save sets in your user library that you can pick from when it makes more sense. I think the big advantage to using templates is that you don't have to spend any time getting 
laying the groundwork that you always lay down in your sets. Like you probably have a drum rack in every set. You probably have a bunch of tracks that you're always creating. Maybe you put effects on the master bus. I don't have any here, but maybe you always put some effects on the master bus. And it's like, why do that every single time? That's not creative. It's monotonous. So save yourself the time, do it one time, save a template, and then you can get back to making music faster. Hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.